Hey, what's up guys? This is Bob, KK4DIV. I uh, just want to show you the equipment I use for radar, which is rapid deployment amateur radio. Just give a quick video. I uh, made a couple contacts early. I was going to do a video, but I didn't charge my camera last night, so when I was actually operating and making some contacts, my battery wasn't dead. Throw it on the charger. I got a little bit of charge here, so I'm just going to do a quick video and uh, show you what I use. <coughs> So, you know, got a chair, got to have something to sit in, right? Alright, this is the FT817, uh, great little 5 watt radio, uh, bought it used from a local ham here. Uh, this is the uh, Z817 auto tuner, uh, it's an LDG. Uh, that uh, auto tuner was also purchased when I purchased the FT817 uh, from a local ham. Uh, the 817 comes with an internal battery. I've upgraded the internal battery uh, to, a, I think it's a 2700 milliamp hour battery. And it comes uh, from uh, WR, W4RT, I believe is the uh, name of the uh, place I got it from. I also bought a rapid charger, so whereas the charger that plugs into the wall that came with the 817, it could take up to 8 to 10 hours to charge the battery. With this rapid charger, I can charge this high capacity battery in two hours. So that's pretty cool. And I can uh, usually get uh, several. Um, I say I've run a contest on a, for about four hours on the uh, internal high capacity battery and still had plenty more to do. So uh, it's, a, it's a good battery. Uh, also, have the. Uh, that's a 12 amp hour. A seal lead acid battery there that I use as a backup uh, for uh, when I run the internal battery down. Uh, that will give uh, a good couple days of use out of it. So going camping or something, I always carry that battery up with a full charge. All right, right now I have the auto tuner running to my antenna in a backpack. And this is also the backpack I'll use for pedestrian mobile. Uh, normally if the battery is in there it gives it plenty of weight to hold it up straight. Now, without the battery in there I've got a concrete block uh, laying on the ground here. And I just threw it in there to keep the backpack upright. It probably would have been upright without the concrete block but just in case keep the wind from blowing it down. There's a little bit of a breeze today. But the uh, antenna I use is the uh, that's a Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet. And attached to it is a buddy pole long telescoping whip. I believe that goes to about 110 inches, something like that. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, it's on Buddy Pole's website. It's a long telescoping whip. Uh, that just attaches uh, threads into the top of the... Um, uh, <laughs> silver bullet, uh, Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet 1000. And uh, this is tunable from um, anywhere between 10 to 80 meters, depending on the length of the whip. Uh, when the whip's fully extended, uh, I've got marks here for 20, 40, uh, 60, and 80. And with a shorter whip, you know, you can, you, you've got to kind of make the adjustments there. Uh, but I have a mark for uh, easy access there. Uh, when it's uh, in the sitting on the ground mode, as I call it, uh, I have three ground radials. Uh, you can see they're attached right here. Three ground radials uh, going off uh, in different directions as a ground system, uh, radial system. Uh, one of these radials uh, will be used. See, these uh, will just easily disconnect here. And when I'm operating pedestrian mobile, uh, backpacking uh, with the antenna strapped to my back uh, with the 817 around my neck, I uh, just drag one of those uh, counterpoises behind me. Uh, it still works pretty well. Of course, it works better when you have three, um, but it'll work. Uh, the other thing I do with these counterpoises, I can uh, use them as a random wire, and the 817 will tune a random wire, very, that Z817 auto tuner will tune a random wire very well. So what we've got here 
Um, I have this little L-shaped bracket, and what I've got is I've got an end to an old coax cable that I've stripped the shielding from and just got the center conduct conductor. And I take those little alligator clamps and I just clip it to that center conductor and then I attach a ground uh, radial right here and run it along the ground and uh, that will tune every band uh, in that configuration with that auto tuner uh, nice little auto tuner uh, I've made a bunch of contacts both with the uh, the backpack setup antenna and uh, with the uh, random wire antenna as well uh, real quick one other antenna that I like to use is this uh, this is a MFJ hopefully we can see it pretty well here um, if I can put this together one-handed there we go this is an MFJ uh, 1899T I believe it is um, T for telescoping so that's telescoping whip and you've got a lot of uh, different uh, tapping points and what you have here they call this a wonder lead right there and that will you'll utilize these tapping points to uh, connect the wonder lead to get the different bands uh, that's got a BNC connector on it and uh, I use that with the 817 sometimes portable as well um, I can throw the 817 the auto tuner um, it's a, a couple short pieces of counterpoise wire here uh, all in this uh, laptop bag and uh, easily carry that with me I mean that's a airport carry-on size real easy to carry around uh, great portable bag to use uh, obviously I can also carry a lot in the backpack but uh, when I want to go ultra portable it's this bag this antenna a random wire and the 817 and that gets me out in ultra portable um, don't have the uh, high capacity external battery the S seal lead S battery in this setup but uh, if I just want to go ultra portable, I know I'm just going to be a few hours, uh, this might be what I use. If I'm going pedestrian mobile, uh, I'll have that antenna strapped to my back. Uh, if I know I'm going camping or something, I'll usually carry the backpack and uh, that longer life battery. Uh, but that's it. Uh, that's what I use for radar, uh, rapid deployment amateur radio. And uh, today I was able to make a couple contacts here using this setup. So uh, that's it. Uh, this uh, hope everybody's uh, enjoyed it, and we will chat with you next time. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment, and I'll uh, I'll get you hooked up with an answer, the best I can, anyway. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, Seven three. Uh, y'all take care. We'll catch you next time. This is uh, Bob KK Four DIV. And just as a side note, folks, there's everything packaged up neatly. Uh, in the backpack and the bag um, H17 and you know my ultra portable setup uh, and that easy carry-on bag and um, the bigger antenna battery and some extra various items in the big bag so that's it uh, y'all take it easy KK4DIV talk to you later 7-3